this is an interesting one. Um, this happened like two weeks ago. It was like it was like it made like big time news because it was super interesting. Um, but basically, a district attorney um got caught speeding, and okay. then she she refused to stop for the cop, and was like, "You can't fucking arrest me. I'm the district attorney." This district attorney. Wait, long story what? short, I think she even said something along the lines. I was like, "Well, if you if you try to arrest me, I'm the district attorney. I'm just going to deny the case. So it doesn't even matter. So you might as well just leave me the fuck alone or something like that." It was crazy. Um, Wait, what? Yeah, like she she felt offended that the cop tried to stop her for speeding, and like because she's the DA. But hold on, you'll see. That that happens more often than you think. Oh, I've seen it. I've. I, that happens with judges, that happens with DAs, that happens with... What the fuck? Nah, because... Um, no, this is... Okay, the military okay, I, I thought there was no sound for a second, but there is sound. Check this out. This is from the cop's body cam footage. What the fuck? Hold on, what the fuck? What happened to the sound? It probably starts... It probably, oh. it probably starts probably starts a little late. Okay, he just turned it on. I'm the DA. I was going 55 coming home from work. 55 and a 35. I don't really care. Okay. I, so you can call the Can you come can you no, please no. come over here? No. You're on a, this is on a traffic stop, ma'am. So what happened was the 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 cop turned the sirens on a couple of blocks back and she just didn't stop and just, she just pulled into her garage. She was like, "I'm going home, nigga. Fuck you. I'm the DA." And so and he, so he followed her to to her home, which cops can do if you don't stop one. Like just because you're around the corner from your home, don't think just because you pull onto your driveway, the cop can't still like you know come after you. Because yeah. um, yeah. So. Well, yeah. No, I no. They can. Yes, it is. You call Dennis Colmeyer right now. This is on a traffic stop, ma'am. Yes, it is. You can call Dennis Colmeyer right now. Okay, I'm telling you why I stopped you. You didn't stop at all. Did you not hear my lights or sirens or no, anything? No, I didn't actually. I was on the phone. Okay, well, you're not supposed to be on the phone while you're driving either. Yes, I am with the hands. So free, wait, absolutely. driving on the phone. Okay. Yeah. Why are you so upset at me? I'm doing my job. Mm-hmm. You you just admitted to me that you were going 55 and a 35. Can I'm Philip Thoreau. Leave me alone. It's Chris Officer Chris Afoli. Can you stay over here, ma'am? You're. This no, is a traffic. I'm not this is a over this is a legal here. traffic stop. Do you have your ID? No, it's in my purse. Here. You have your purse right there. No, this is my lunch. Would you talk to your talk to Dennis? This is ridiculous. So wet. Hello, sir. Good, ma'am. Can you please stay at the back? Can this is a le- ma'am. This is legal traffic stop. Can you please stay over here? No. Hey, baby, get your little guy out of here. Sir, I stopped her for going 55 and a 35 on Phillips Road. On Phillips Road. And Come she failed to stop. She drove all the way back home. And parked in her garage. And now she's not she's not complying with any of my commands. Ma'am, do not go inside. Oh my god. Bro. <laughs> white privilege at its finest. No, that's ain't no white privilege. Like that, that's just solely because she's the DA. She thinks she can't be arrested for this. It's just like because if this was some fucking like hillbilly dude, uh, okay. that, that nigga would have been tackled and arrested by now. <laughs> but he would have been tased. Yeah, first bro, off, like, she said she was talking on the phone while driving. Even though she said it was hands free. I'm I'm just I'm thinking like she really pulling that car like I'm the DA, you can't touch me. Bro, it's it's, it's wow. insane. Like the the audacity thing just because you're in the it's just like wow. It was like even Harvey Dent wouldn't do this shit, bro. <laughs> Harvey Dent? What? Before well, Harvey after- Dent. Before death, Har- after Harvey Dent was actually normal until he wasn't normal, so that's a little different. Yeah, no, I don't mean fucking Two Face. I mean Harvey Dent. <laughs> Harvey no, Dent. Yeah. Say, yeah, that's what I was like before after the acid. Yeah, yeah. no, no, because before the acid, Harvey Dent was the most clean cut motherfucker you met in your life. Like he, bro, this dude. I mean, this lady is is a trip, bro. Yep, sound like one, bro. Yep. All right. Ma'am, come outside. You can't just go inside. This is a traffic okay. stop. Here's Don't your phone you, back. I understand the law better than you. Would you 953. You can you have a supervisor come to the scene? No. Get out of my fucking house. 
I don't know why. I don't know why you're acting like this towards me. Because Can you please go to the back of the vehicle? I'm not going to. I'm home. I was going. I was okay. Fifty. I don't care if you got home. You were supposed to stop at Phillips Road when I pulled you over. I when my know. lights were initiated. I didn't know you were stopping me. There was lots of other people on the road. I was right behind you. Yeah. Oh. There were other people on the road too. Okay, I was directly I'm behind not, you. I'm not dealing with you right Can now. Can you please step over here? I'm not going to. What is the reason you're you're so against what I'm doing? I'm doing my job. You say you're a DA? I am the DA. Okay. Okay, let me get you my. He is a DDA. He is the DA. Well, Ooh. actually, no. You know what can happen to her? She can actually lose her. She can lose her uh her license to practice uh practice law for the state. I'm I'm pretty sure she's going to. Yeah, and is she can, well. She will certainly lose her because she she's the is she the city DA or the state DA? No, I don't know. I mean, she's the DA. Yeah, because no, because well, because that matters. Cause I'm saying that that matters because she can legit lose her light lose her license to practice for the uh, for a city or a state. That's it's it's just crazy. Well, hold on, let's uh, let's keep going because this is wild, bro. Bad. I am the DA of Monroe County. I you don't want to mess with just me. don't understand the hostility towards me. I'm doing my job. How am I being an asshole? I am the DA in Monroe County. I understand yes, that, but I, that doesn't give you a right to I go 55 and a 35. And you even admitted to me that you went 50. I understand I really that, man. Bro, I, I understand care. that. I Talking you know to her, what you you need I'm the one who prosecutes it. Okay, just go ahead and do it. Go ahead. Right, you heard what you said. Wait, wait. Yeah. Understand that, ma'am. Really yeah, I heard exactly. That. And you even admitted to me that you went said. 50. I, I understand really that, ma'am. I, really I understand care. that. I don't, you know what? If you give me a traffic ticket, that's fine. I'm the one who prosecutes it. Okay? Just go ahead and do it. Go ahead. Go ahead. I just don't understand the hostility. I, I understand no, you're I coming home from work. Making... And half the time I was on the phone with Dennis telling him, why are you pulling me over? You're not even supposed to be on the phone to begin with. You oh, should yes. know that. Oh, 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 wait, that's a contradiction. Who the he fuck said, is this guy in her garage? A cop. Oh, yeah. So, so you missed something. So I'll, I'll, I'll re, re explain. This lady is the DA for her city or her state. I don't know which one. Um, it, the city says, it says Monroe County. She's the DA for her county. Okay. So, so she, uh, the DA. he stopped her a couple of blocks back. He turned his sirens on, um, to pull her over because she was going 20 miles over the speed limit. She just did not stop. She kept driving, and then she pulled. She came home, pulled in her garage, and then he followed her, which cops can do. Just because you don't stop and you go home doesn't mean they, they can't they can do it. And then now he's trying to tell her, he's like, "Hey, I'm still. I'm, I got to process this traffic stop. I tried to stop you. You refused to stop." And she was like, "Well, I'm the DA. I don't really give a fuck. I'm going inside now and all this stuff." And then she and she just outright told him, "Go, dude, go ahead, process me. Write me a ticket. I'm the one who processes it anyway, so it doesn't matter." Um. But it was funny what she just said. She was just saying, this whole time I was just on the phone with your like police chief or whatever, asking, asking him, why is this dude trying to pull me over? But at the beginning of the video, when he asked her, he said, hey, did you hear my sirens and everything when I was trying to pull you over? She's like, no, I didn't, because I was on the phone. But she just said, she, while she was on the phone, she acknowledged, I don't know, she just contradicted herself. Not a very good lawyer. Huh? I said, she's not a very good lawyer, because she just contradicted herself in less than four minutes. On film too. Yeah. Oh, I'm hands free. Absolutely. Okay. You should know the law. Okay. If it is hands free, that's great. But at the end of the day, you're going 55 and a 35. That's 20 okay. miles over the speed limit. Okay. You know what? That's fine. You know what I've been dealing with all day? Three murders in the city. And do you nope, think I don't really care. care if I was going 20 miles over the speed limit? I'm just doing my I job. If you pulled, the... if you pulled yeah, over I, when you, you saw my lights, which obviously you did. I thought you were going somewhere else because I okay. thought no one would ever pull a, a black SUV if you ran my plates. I didn't run that. your plate. I just called your plate out. And then I'm following you because you're not stopping. So I had to take the air from dispatch. Just please. Nine five three. You can have the air back, by the way. Just come outside over here. No, I'm not going outside. Okay. I'm waiting for you just to leave. Well, I'm having a supervisor come because that's what my chief told me to do. Do you have your driver's license? 
I just showed you my driver. You show me your. Park. You show me your badge. Damn, they said a fourteen-year-old is having a seizure. What the fuck's happening with that? Yeah, no. There's a, this is my problem with this shit. There's there's actual there's actual emergencies that this cop could be handling right now. <laughs> Damn. There's real no. There's real things that he could be handling right now, but instead he has to deal with this bullshit. <laughs> but that's not his fault. That's her fault. Yeah, no, it is. No, all, he was not... gonna do, all he's gonna do is stop her and write her a speed ticket. Right. <laughs> that's all he was gonna do. <laughs> Matter <laughs> of fact, if she would have just fucking stopped and he realized she was the DA, he probably would have just been like, "Yo, bitch, stop speeding and go the fuck home safely." And I'm not gonna even write you the ticket because you're the fucking DA. But no, you want to be extra. Drive always. The house. I, th th this is why. This is why I can't fucking stand 80 percent of people with some type of fucking power or authority they feel like they're Correct. above you're not above the fucking law you're not above the law when you're when you're on the fucking street it doesn't matter if you're the da the fucking uh, a judge jury the president bitch if you're breaking the law and my job is to uphold the law then you have to abide by what the fuck is going on I, you Correct. don't just get to be oh, i'm like bitch, I, I can say the same shit. Like, oh, you're speeding, but bitch, you know who I am. <laughs> you know who I am. Bitch, I run these streets. Like, like <laughs> everybody in Houston know me, nigga. Everybody know me. What the fuck you mean? You pulling me over? Like what? That shit sound. You sound dumb as hell. What? Sound I'm the number one regional manager of Quiznos, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I be nigga. Bro, everybody be in, in here mm -mm -mm, eating good. Bitch, fuck wrong with you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I dealt with today? Huh? Three missed orders. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yo, yo, yo. That, that's you money know right there, I, bro. And see, you know what? Kudos, kudos to the cop that's dealing with this because immediately, bro, first off, this is the thing. You just completely and utterly escalated this situation. It was just speeding at first. You've literally now you're evading the law, driving all the way to your fucking house. That's a, you're right. evading the law and re, and resisting right now. You're you're That's adding. You know what's crazy? Hold on. Let me, so let me say this real quick. Because uh, on one hand, yeah, kudos to this cop because his patience is through the roof. Could have been body slammed this bitch. It'd have been over. However, I will also you say you can't go around body slamming. You can't go around body slamming people because they're not listening to you. That's not how that works. Trust me, trust me, trust me. No, there's a case no, no, going I'm on not, right I'm not, now. I, I, I'm, I'm not even talking about from the from the the era of being a cop. I'm just like as a person. As a person. <laughs> as a person, I would have just been body slammed you. It would have been it would have been over and done with. I'm not I'm not to do this, but um, uh, but also on the other hand, mm -hmm. it's just like I I don't know this cop. Seems like a super nice dude. I think he's too damn nice to be a cop though. Like on on some level, I think he's just too damn nice. Cause you're tolerating like a lot of nonsense from this lady, and I'm just like, bro, get your ass, put your hands on the fucking car, and wait until right. I write this fucking ticket. Like, I'm not about to sit here and 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 beg and plead with you to let me do my damn job. Like, you know, nigga, I will beat period. your bitch ass. You know, I will beat your bitch. Like, period. like, you're like, like you said, not even for the capacity of being a police officer. Yeah, no, because young Fred, you're right. This is completely like resisting, like and, and evading like the law, like a hundred percent. Admitting like, to oh, it, saying I don't give a fuck. I don't give oh, a fuck. About she, she literally like said, she, she literally said, oh, just go ahead and write me a ticket. I'm the one who processes them anyway. They don't matter. You know, just basically saying what I got from that is like, if you write me a ticket, I'm just gonna deny it. Uh, I'm just gonna I'm literally gonna use my powers of DA to just say, Nope, it doesn't matter. You know, See, like I'm not gonna this, take, is the, this is the question. Like, I'm not gonna this take is the, the real question. This is the real question. Also, by what also no, why no, are you no, what you, no, I don't mean to cut you off, but also, what she's saying is, because if, if something like this happens and it has her name, another DA has to try that. Oh, because she can't be the person who tried that. that. So, so no, 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 no. She, no. What she's saying is, I will corrupt the criminal justice system in order for me to get away with a crime. A speeding ticket at that. <laughs> see a now, see, this ticket. is the thing. I would have thought, bro, me. If I was the same cop in the same situation, bro, I would have I would have completely thrown the fucking book at this bitch. I would have been <laughs> like, I smell beer in your breath. I smell <laughs> marijuana. It smells like marijuana. Well, that's not car. good. Don't, you don't just be no, making no, up so, No, this is the thing. This is the thing, though. 
you were how far from your house? You're going 20 miles over the speed limit to get home. What are you hiding? What are you? Tr why are you trying to get away from me so desperately? That's probable mm. cause. Why are you? You're a, you're evading the law. I had my sirens on. Like, I'd be like, yo, what's in your car? What are you trying to hide? What are you trying to? And she keeps getting in. Oh, you're saying that cars. alone gives you enough probable cause for a lot yes, of shit. Let me search your vehicle. Why are you? Why are you doing? Why are you acting hostile? Again, there, there, there are thousands of cases where there are cops who are in their regular vehicles who are speeding and get pulled over and they, you know, oh my bad, I was speeding, blah 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 blah, and the shit gets dismissed because. Oh, you're a cop. I understand whatever, whatever. And they move the fuck on. But you're literally fucking fighting and arguing with me. And you're talking about, I don't give a fuck about the law. I process that shit. And da -da -da. it's like she's trying to scare him off with the fact that she's the D.A. What are you trying to hide? Yeah. 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 Like I said, I think this guy it seems like a, I, I, I appreciate the fact that he is a patient and not just out here trying to tase and shoot niggas for no reason. But he also seems a little too nice to be a police officer. Like that, if I had to give him some type of criticism, I will say that. Yo, yo, yo. I feel like you would say that same thing about me because you're like, nigga, you let you let her get away. With what, nigga, you be too because yeah, yeah. Because people, say, you know, because people say that about me at my job. They're like, nigga, you are too nice. You might you are you should choke slam that nigga through a table. You are too nice. He's a nigga. Yeah, just, just a little too nice. Just a little. I'm not saying you got to be like a fucking MP because you know everybody know the motherfuckers. Oh, asshole. they're the fucking worst. <laughs> my bad cousin i don't not, not you i'm pretty sure you were a dope mp no were you an mp nah nigga you was a fucked <laughs> nah. up mp too oh nigga. my Hell god nah. hey, yo, we don't fuck with no police fuck 12 nigga i went from 11 <laughs> to 13 because fuck 12 <laughs> hey yo no 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 Hey, this is not knocking at you. <laughs> Look at him, he's like, nah, nigga, quit playing with me, bro. <laughs> he's like, hey, bro, it's all jokes, bro. I, hey, look, it's all jokes. I ain't got no warrants. I got a clean, I got a clean record. I'll get with you, bro. He like, nigga, what's your address? <laughs> what's your address? <laughs> Hey, 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 come on. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah, hey, come on, come on. You got to thank that man for his service, man. You got to thank that man. I was. No, I, 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 I will thank you for I'll thank you for your service. And still, bro, I hate MPs, though. I hate, they're the fucking worst. They are the worst. Oh my God, they're the worst. Now, let they me tell you a story. Let me tell you, bro. Because MPs, they, they just they just fuck with you for no reason, bro. Like, and I don't really like, hate them, but no, they, have, they, you, they, have you ever met MPs? MPs like the PT? Oh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh. Let me tell you. Let me tell you a story, bro. Like, so this was this was a couple of months ago. Now I'm about to be late for PT. Like, I'm about to be late. You know, well, no, well, actually, I can make it in time. But so I am speeding, right? So I'm 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 trying to. I just made it through the gate. I scan my cat card. I'm going down. Mm, I got like, I got like nine minutes to get there. I'm like, okay, I can make it. I can make it to formation. I can make it to formation. I get pulled over by this MP. Oh my god! And this, this fucking sergeant dude. He just he kind of walks up to me all nonchalant. And he's, I'm in my PTs. He's looking at me. He's like, he's, 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 he stops. He's just looking at me. I was like, uh, you on your way to PT? Yeah. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, yeah, yeah, like I'm on my way to PT. He was like, oh, oh, it's, uh, oh, zero, it's 0621. You know, PT starts 0630. Yeah, I, yeah, I know. He's like, yeah, you don't want to be late for PT. I'm like, yeah, I don't want to be late for PT. Now you don't want to be late. You know your uh, your this NCO, guy. your NCO ain't gonna be happy if you're late for PT. I I know. He <laughs> just like, and he's like, yeah, you know. Uh, this nigga just run away from PT, right? <laughs> yeah, bro. He's just fucking with me at this point. So he sits there for like four or five minutes. He's like. All right, well, go ahead, get out here, watch your speed. Oh my you know, God. I, no, no. Dad, he's like, go ahead, get out here, watch your speed. I ain't gonna let nobody be late for PT. You know, go ahead, yeah, go ahead, get hey. out here. Just, you know, just watch your speed. I don't want you to be late. You know, you know, you know just, <laughs> take care, soldier. And, he, and I drive, and I was like, bro, why did you sit here? And then it was like, it was like now six twenty-five. You wasted four minutes of my time. <laughs> <laughs> you fucked with me for four minutes just to, you know, where I'm going. You already knew the situation the second you pulled me up. You already knew what was happening. I'm in my PTs. I got nine minutes to get to formation, and you held me up for four for no. And then you didn't. Here's the thing: you didn't even write me a ticket or not. You just let me go, which means at this point you're just fucking with me. Yeah, <laughs> like, no, because now but no, you want to know why that's bad. Because let's assume you are late. Now you have no justification for being late. 
<laughs> so now you look like a fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, oh man. Why you late, man? MP, nigga, MP pulled me over. Like, what it is? And you know what they're going to say? Ain't no fucking take. I swear to God, nigga, talking to me 15 minutes, bro. I don't know what the fuck is going on with this nigga. Here, no, no, and they're going to say, prove uh, it. Say, and once you, and if you cannot prove charge, it, nigga. Yeah. yeah, bro. This is crazy. I would have been less irritated if he would have wrote me a ticket, bro. I'm like, bro. But I still made it to PT in time. That's just a funny little story. It, it's like the way he was so like clearly just stalling. I was like, bro, if you're not gonna write me a ticket, just let me go, bro. Like, nah, cause no, I'm not saying you were like that. I, you know, I'm pretty sure you were the the, the swellest of MPs. I'm sure. I, I'm, I'm <laughs> sure you were. The, you know, you know, it's crazy. You know, what's crazy about MPs. <laughs> no. Now somebody said. Now I accidentally pissed off an MP because I said, "With all this time you're taking me to write the, with all this time you took to write this ticket, you know you could say you could say that uh, that Hispanic girl at Fort Hood right now." Ooh, <laughs> ooh. Oh boy, I'm I'm mad for her. So let's uh, I mean let me avoid that conversation because no 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 I know no but I got no but when I tell you I got into trouble when I got. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of that. that I, I, I don't even want to get into that. I don't even want to do that. I don't even want to do that. I don't even want to do that. But, but um. Well, yeah, yeah. Fuck. Uh, no, that's no. Was, no. So the point I was saying, this guy is a, he's a little too nice. If I was if I was his supervisor, if I was his if I was his police chief, if I was somebody higher ranked than him, I would tell him shit. Up, you gotta kind of like not be so fucking like passive out there, man. You know that lady. You don't know what she could. She, you don't know. She let her go in and out of her car. She went in her home. She could have came out with like a gun or something. You know what I mean? Like, she she could have came out blasting. Yeah. And, and, and here's the catch: you look like you're alone. Mm hmm. So yeah, yeah. Where's his partner at? Yeah, that. that's the reason why I'm like, nah. The moment that she stepped into that vehicle, moment you should you should have said, hey, you should have met that bitch with a gun. Or, 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 or a taser, taser first, perhaps. Well, maybe, ta you know. yeah. Taser, ta you should have met that bitch with something before she even yeah. reaches into the car. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you being met with something, nigga. I don't know what's in your. I don't know what's in. I don't know what's on you, bro. Going sixty-five. So I don't even know. I don't even want to keep looking at this bitch. It's annoying. Pardon? She's a DA. Yep, I know. And I was just trying to pull into my driveway. I was on the phone with Dennis Colmeyer saying, "Would you please tell the person who's following me that I'm, just, just, I'm almost home?" Ma'am, ma I understand you were going home, but I started my lights back at Phillips Road. I'm on Phillips Road, yes, yes, you did, and there are other cars. I was right behind you, directly behind you. At, at the end, go, go at, ahead, like, listen, you, you wanna, at the like end of said, the day, go ahead if you want to write me a traffic ticket. That's fine. Okay, at the end of the I day, at the end of the day, I was stopping you for speed. If you I've just stop, I've had stopped, a really bad day. I've been dealing with. And I get it. And I get it. We have bad days also, ma'am. Hey, what's we have bad days also. What, what, what's up with the um that that fourteen year old procedure? <laughs> I don't know. I can't Yo, right? about We got real nigga. Fuck your bad day. You had you had at work, nigga. There's a bad day happening for somebody right now. There's a fourteen year old dying on me right now. Like, I don't know. I, I can't stop thinking about that. I heard it over the radio. I was like, wait, what? Did she just say a fourteen year old is having? A seizure? She said a fourteen year old. She said a fourteen year old is having a seizure right now. I could be saving this person's life. Yeah, that's is crazy. it me? Is it me, or does she appear to be slightly inebriated? Am I just thinking that? Like, bro, come on, that's <laughs> not, like I'm saying, like the like her, like her, like look how she's standing, like look at how she's standing, like she's not even standing like upright. Look, I'm, like I'm look at her. just add it to the job real quick. I don't know, she could be. I'm not. I'm not qualified to make those make those assertions, but you, know. you can just go and actually add it. You don't have to use the air. Damn, she don't got no ass. Hold on, right back. You can just go and actually add it. You don't have to use the air. Are you talking about the police officer right now? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I didn't notice that shit, bro. <laughs> you got no ass, bro. Bro, okay, like she got, bro. Speak, you look like she got cardboard got, shoved down her pants, bro. I, I got a, I got a story. So one time, this was, this was back before you know we was upstanding citizens and shit, right? Me, me and so one time, me and so we's at this Burger King, right? We try to get some food. We blowing, we 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 blowing some O's, right? We get we getting fucked up, right? So this guy, this guy thinks it's a good idea. Now, mind you, we blitz. I'm fucking, I'm fucking high as fuck, right? And I'm driving, and this guy is like, this guy is like, it's a cop out there. She's handling some cop shit, right? And the windows cracked. He like. Nice ass. <laughs> hey, yo, bro, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing right there, bro? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. 
the cop lady like, nigga, you trying, you trying to get us interested? Like, trying to get us caught. I'm like, nah, hell no. Nah. I put that bitch in reverse. We gonna, we just gonna leave. Fuck this shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Hey yo, listen, yo, listen. I am just, a, I am so, just an admirer of the female form. I think, I think women are beautiful and gorgeous and in, in every shape, size, and color. Well, okay, right. not 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 every not every shape, but every size and color. And most, I, I, no, well, it depends. I don't like, I, I don't, I don't like small chicks. But yeah, I get what you're saying, though. I hear what you're saying. It's about like, proportions for me. It's all it about is. Proportions. It is about proportion. It's all about the proportions. Because you can't thing. have. No, I don't like small titties, titties and be flat in the back. Like you got to be like <laughs> balanced out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but my I, I don't like small chicks. Like if I could pick you up and throw you, I probably oh, don't. That's, that's the wait. Best. Hold on. Wait a minute. The shorter the better. I I hit the lottery when, hey, when I first met my when I when I first met my wife. I was like, damn man, she four foot ten. And I was like, I I, was like, I, I think I need to go ahead and marry her because like, yeah, I could I could place my bets and maybe I could run into somebody that's like four foot nine, but I don't think I'm going to. So let me just you know. I, 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 if I'll I just, can I'll pick just... you up and throw you, I don't want you, bro. If hey, if you're strong enough, you can pick up and throw any bitch, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know, like that's, that's a true. you thing. That's a you thing. You know, that's a, no, I, which I acknowledge. All I'm, what I'm trying to say is, young prince is this: you gotta be two something to do something with me. Hey, shit, I hear you. If she ain't at least one eighty, she ain't a lady. I hear you. Um, yeah, she ain't. Like you, you know like. I'm one fifteen. If you don't get your twelve year old ass <laughs> on somewhere, if you don't get your twelve year old ass. That don't really matter to me, man. I like, I like, I like small women. You know, everybody honest. got, everybody got the answer. Yeah, I, I, me personally, I don't like, for me, I, like the only thing that I really am I'm not the biggest fan of. It wouldn't be like a deal breaker. I mean, I'm married, so it doesn't really matter now. But like, if I was single, it wouldn't be like a deal breaker. But I, I just, I would not want to be with someone who's like looking at me like eye level. It's just like, oh, there's, not, there's nothing attractive about it. It's just like you're, you're just too damn tall. Like, and then so- also if you look me in my eye. Then, then, then that, then, then that immediately in my brain, I, I'll, I'll like perceive you like as a threat, and then I'll have to like lay hands on you because I, why you, why you looking at me eye to eye? Like that? So, like, it's like don't, don't do that. Don't, don't stare at me in my eye. Like, you can like, look me in the eye, bitch. Yeah, like don't do that. It's, and like the only thing worse than that, is somebody like looking down at me. Don't look down at me because like then we gonna be fighting. Don't, don't do that. So like, you know. that's yo, yo, so, yo, so honestly, because I remember I was trying to hook you up with my, I'll try to hook you up with one of my cousins. But then I told you how tall she was, and you were like, "Oh, that's a no go." Nah. Yeah, nah. Like something in my brain would perceive that as like a threat for some reason. It was just like, like I, I just it was like it would be the same thing as just like, like I don't like hanging around you niggas like that. I mean, I love y'all, but like, like I don't, I don't look y'all motherfuckers like I actually y'all tall than me, and then, they, and then I'm gonna get defensive, bro. Like I'm gonna want to swing. Like you just <laughs> <laughs> no, no, cause I remember, cause and this was before your, this was before your growth spurt. I was like, yeah, cause you were like. I was like, yeah, no, she's a good looking girl, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, say, like, how tall is she? Uh, she's not too tall, man. She's like 6'4. Huh? She's a what? <laughs> what? That's fucking huge, bro. Bro, do you know she's like in the like the five percentile of bitches in the world? That's than that, bro. She's like in the one percentile. Bro, like, bro, there's like three percent of women over six foot in the world, nigga. Like, yeah. <laughs> you said six four? Yeah. <laughs> she bet nigga, she in the WNBA? That bitch better be yeah. open, bro. Nah, she bro, better nah, be balling nah. niggas up. The fuck? The, the, the height, the, the average height for women is like five five. The average height for men is like five eight. So if you're taller than like five five, you're just too damn tall to me, to be honest. I'm just, you're just way too damn tall. Like, like I don't know. It, that like, really like, matters though. Cause we're just talking about clapping some cheeks and none of that matters. But like to live with somebody, I don't know. You know, it was like Kevin Hart said, like, you know, he was trying to reach for something on top of the refrigerator and his girl came and grabbed it for him and he punched her. He was like, yeah, I, I feel that. <laughs> he's like, he's like, yeah, like, don't do that, bro. Like, don't do that. Like, I don't know. It's something about it. It's like, it's like, I tried to reach him and grab it. But, but Kevin Hart, like, five so I know, yeah, but right, still, right. you know, I'm just saying, like, I get where he, I get where he coming from, bro. Don't, don't be looking me in the eye. What's wrong? That nigga walk around with a sticky hand in his pocket. He like, hold on. <clears throat> <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? Like he, he ain't no way he ain't got a grappling hook on him, bro. That right, nigga the same height. That nigga the same height as Tim Drake. Like the fuck you talking about? That nigga fight too. Tim Drake fights with stick for a reason, bro. I got no hands like that. I got okay. Well, so what's about to happen with this lady? Because this lady low key irritating the hell out of me. Huh? Sergeant Johnson. Six three. 
I understand you had it. Like, I get it. I, we all have I bad days. He's being too nice to her. Are they going to rest this bitch? That's what I want to know. Edit to the job. Sarge on his way. That's what you said, time for. Okay. So. Man, don't let that bitch go into a fucking car. Hey, yo. Man, I will beat your bitch up. You know what that girl. Bro, we got three oh. cops here now. Oh, okay. Look at Miss Officer right here. Is she fine? She got big booty? No, she don't got no ass. Oh, damn. Mm-hmm. She got big teeth? She got something? So she got something? She got a vest on, so I can't tell. I don't know. She all right looking. I'm Miss Officer. Yeah, she's great. It's me that they're stopping. Just tell them it's me. Just tell him it's me. What? That's not how the law works, lady. What's that? What the fuck does that mean? Nine, bro, they can, okay, I'm getting irritated because they got three cops here talking to this lady now, bro. Bro, they got three cops to talk. Just just write her a ticket and just, I don't know, bro. Bro, yeah, know. y'all could have been done with this shit. This is what. Wait for Sarge or LT. Sounds like LT is coming, though. She's yeah, a that's a 26 minute video, so they probably still hold into her garage. Like, got out. I, just wait, came. no, this, no, no, no. This Did she at. just say the LT's coming, as in the lieutenant? Yeah, the lieutenant's coming. Man, get the fuck out of here, yo. If you don't take this fucking ticket, <laughs> is he the lieutenant? The lieutenant? I'm, they're still talking to her. They're just talking to her, and I just want to know, like, what, what, where is this going? What's happening with this? The lieutenant. Nigga, it ain't that tough, bro. If you don't take this fucking ticket, get the fuck out of the Bro, first and foremost, let's say you dispute the ticket. You go to court, bro. This nigga's not about to show up to this court case. Right. <laughs> they just, they're just going to dismiss your ticket. You're the fucking DA. So, are you still- I'm issuing you. No, okay. No. Hey, you want to know why he's not going to okay, show up? Okay, here we go. Here we go. So he finally wrote her up a ticket. God damn. Okay. All right, man. Right. Do you, so, do you, do you know I'm why he's not going to show up to the court case? Zone, 55. Wait, hold on, Mr. Benetton. Hold on. I'm trying to hear what you're saying. Okay. All right, ma'am. So I'm issuing you speed in zone 55 and 35. That's fine. I'll take care of it since I'll be prosecuting myself. Okay. At the end of the day, if you see my lights and sirens behind you, and obviously they're going off, just pull over. We're going to have a conversation and be on our way. I kept my eye on your vehicle. I'm not going to check my computer to see what point it is if a vehicle is not stopping for me. I want to keep my eyes on that vehicle for my safety, so I make it home at the end of the day. Okay? I apologize. I'm sorry that you had a bad day, and I'm sorry it went this way, but I do respect what you do. Have a good day, man. Bro, leave. Just go. You you gave me the ticket. He cut his audio. Yeah. Yo, Brez, you want to know why? He cut his audio. Sorry. Thank you. Okay. He cut his audio okay. off at the end. You, hey, yo, Prez, so, golf ball, you want to know why he's not going to go to that fucking court case? Because the, the, the he's too busy trying to save 14 rows from seizures. Nigga, what the fuck? You know, that girl could be dead right now. That, that Wait a minute. Did dead. you just assume that 14 year old's gender? How dare you? Or, I, I apologize. That 14 yeah, yeah. year old person. <laughs> Could be having a seizure right now. That person could be dead. Uh, like, like oh, that's a oh, real oh. thing going on. Let, let's see what the news said about this. Uh, this is insane that this even happened, bro. Like, I'm just, I'm super confused, bro. Hey, we give y'all everything on the soul cast, bro. We be talking about fucking hip hop. We talking about the rock. We talking about crazy ass DAs. We we, 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 really, bro. Don't nobody be doing it like us, bro. We give y'all real opinions, bro. You know what I mean? Like, we give y'all, here. we give y'all debates on whether or not holes are necessary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pro hell, but yeah, I, I get what you're saying. I'm a, I, I, I just need the option in my life. Um, I just prosecute. In Rochester, New York, Sandra Dooley, now facing growing calls to resign, and is now under investigation after she threw a temper tantrum when police tried to stop her for speeding. She was allegedly caught speeding 20 miles over the limit last Monday. When the cop tried to pull her over, she kept going, driving home. That's called eluding or fleeing. Yeah. Followed her home, confronted her, and instead of doing what police and prosecutors tell people to do when they get pulled over, which is be polite and obey orders, she cursed them out. Her outburst caught on police body cam. Didn't stop at all. Did you not drive me? Oh, this throat. Throat. Leave me alone. It's Christopher, Officer Christopher. Foley. Christopher. Can you stay over here, ma'am? You're, this no, is a traffic. This is a, this is a legal here. traffic stop. 
Monroe County District Attorney Dooley had called the local police chief to complain about the officer. Didn't stop there. She also pulled the don't you know who I am card. Ma'am, come outside. You can't just go inside. This is a traffic stop. Here's your phone back. I understand the law better than you. you 953, can you have a supervisor come to the scene? No, get out of my house. You. I'm dealing with you right now. Can you please step over here? I'm not going to. What is I would have body slammed her ass. I, I, I just like <laughs> it's just like, bro, what are you doing? Like, no, the moment that she stepped into that car and came out is the moment I put I put eight in her chest, bro. <laughs> yeah, damn, this is like a preemptive as a motherfucker, huh? Yeah, now, when, she, when she gonna turn around, I first off, you you've already eluded me. That's one. Then right. I said, ma'am, I need you to now. Now you're just like uh, uh, completely resisting, right? When she would have turned around to open the car door. Taste. I would have fired her ass up, cracked the lightning, static shocked her ass real fast. Bow. I was like, real quick, I don't know why you're reaching in the car. You already Y'all resisting the fuck out of everything. Yo, Cuzzle, Cuzzle, tell them, tell them about themselves. You said we're horrible cops. Y'all are some horrible. <laughs> yeah, y'all some horrible. Why? Y'all niggas why? Are <laughs> why? L listen, because, listen, okay. Listen. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Let go me ahead. tell you from my perspective, all right? From the I MP's with, perspective. With like that. Yeah, so I'm not tasing her because it's called level of force. I'm going to try true. to talk as much as possible because if I don't feel like my life's in danger, I'm not going to draw my weapon. I'm not going to tase her. But I'm not that cop. He wasn't confident. I wouldn't let her get this conversation, would have been two minutes tops. <laughs> like, hey, he's your fucking dick. I'll see you in court or I won't, okay? Like he was too passive. He was like, "Okay, ma'am, I'm trying to talk to you. Not nah, fuck that. I'm writing you a ticket. You don't want to accept it? Okay, I'm gonna leave it right here. I really don't care. But I'm not gonna shoot her. I'm not, yeah, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not gonna. He's not, not gonna shoot me. He's like, I hey, yo, what you either? Yeah. But the fact that by the by, this is the thing. Two things. One, the 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 level of resisting, right? And then. When I'm talking to you, you're coming at me in a very hostile manner, right? So when she when she turned around to, to get in the car, I would be like, freeze dirt back. I don't know what you're reaching for. I don't know. I don't know what you're, what you're, you're, not, being cooperative. you're not being cooperative, bro. I don't, I'm not listening. My objective is to get the fuck home, right? So as soon as she would uh, turn, like, bro, I didn't see videos where a cop is like, Give me your license and registration or whatever, and the and the dude turns to the car, get the fuck down, and he he let off like four rounds. So in right. my head, you moving too fast, you acting you acting erratic, you know what I'm saying? You you hostile as fuck for no reason because this was a simple this was like again this is a simple traffic stop. You're uh, you're completely disrespecting the law. I don't know what your intentions are. <laughs> no, I love how you said freeze dirt bag. That was <laughs> just my own guy freeze dirt bag. Yeah, I would have, I would have, I would have fired her ass up like, like, <laughs> like, like, like a super, like the Super Bowl scoreboard. Fuck all that. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing. You already <laughs> showed me you don't respect the law. So, like, what that mean to me? You don't respect the law. Hell no. Nah. But I, respect, I, I totally respect your stance, being the fact that you know you did actual law enforcement. Hey, this man is, it is, man, it is an experienced law enforcement officer. You know, you gotta, gotta, gotta respect the stance. Exactly. Gotta respect totally the stance. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Cousin, cousin, yeah. How, how, how many years did you serve? Well, it, it was like six years, right? Yeah. yeah six six yeah. years, man. Six yeah, yeah. Years. No, no. I, I completely respect the stance. I just, I just know I'm, I'm, I'm leaning on the side of young press. The moment that you step into that car, I don't know what you're getting out of there. Particularly when I didn't tell you to step into that car. Oh no, I don't know what you're getting out there, dog. Mm -mm. I have no clue what you're coming out with, bro. What you, what, she would have been tased. Her dog would have been tased. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, the dog, bro. The dog nah, was nah, the nah, bro. bro. No, he's talking about the dog no, now, bro. bro the he's dog was running. Bro, the no, dog was no, running around. No. I don't know. She could. She no. could have been like. She could have been like Balto. Get him. So now we in a whole other situation. Nah, this is true. Come here, so bro. No, we, we don't we don't no. harm doggies. As soon as he says who? 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 As soon as he Fifi, Fifi is ashamed of you. As soon as he saw her get in the car, right? Right. As soon as he saw her get in the car, he could have like see when she was walking towards there, he could have gave the command, like, hey, if you get in that car, I'm about to tase you. And if she gets in there, she ain't complying, you tase her. But you don't tase her right away. 
<laughs> you gotta let them know, like, hey, you know, like, like wait, listen, if you walk in that house, I'm gonna tase you. I'm not gonna shoot you, but I'm going to tase you because you're not listening to my commands. I'm trying to talk to you, and you're blowing me off. But if you step foot in that house, matter of fact, if you touch that doorknob, I'm tasing you. Yo, yo, go oh, let me see. Hold on, wait, you're, let's, you're let's better see. Let's you're see. Better, you're a thing. You're better than all of us. Hey, you're better you, than all of us. You got anything you want to say, Fifi? Any? And and the only reason why I'm saying you're better than all of us <laughs> is because I know for a fact this is my thing, right? If I look, the reason why I have I'm taking the stance I'm taking, it's not even because of her. It's not even because of me. It's because I live with this woman who says that she loves me and shit. And what that means is if she if I come home dead, she gonna she's going to resurrect me to whoop my ass, and I don't want that. So wait, 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 wait. You don't tell me dead. Yeah, come home dead. <laughs> bro. Come home dead. Said, so you can go in the, you can go to sleep dead and wake dead. up alive. <laughs> yeah. How you wake up in a bed dead? How you wake up dead? <laughs> yeah. And she said she be like, let you come home dead. Don't come home at all. Huh? <laughs> all right. You won't, nigga. I promise you. <laughs> I promise you, you won't, bro. I can get it. Look, I'm not. I'm not sure about a lot of stuff, but I promise you, you ain't coming home dead, nigga. Not, not before the funeral service. Not before the cremation. I promise you. you All right. Oh, uh, let's. Uh, I want to see what happens to this lady. If they say anything, like what, what actually reason, happens you're, to her. You're so against what I'm doing. I'm doing my job. Because we saw this. I, I want to see the I'll new. Just pick it. Oh, here we go. It. Okay. Just go ahead and do it. Go. It's just awful. Supervising officer arrived later to the scene and wrote Dooley a speeding ticket. She pled guilty to the violation last Thursday. Now, she appeared to try to get ahead of the story. She released a video this week apologizing. What I did was uh, wrong. No excuses. I take full responsibility bro, get for the my fuck, act. Bro, fuck, bro. Get out of here, bro. <laughs> what I did was wrong. Bro. I'm, I'm, I'm oh, my God. Now, that ah. irritated me. That irritates I me. I was a little inebriated and that's... That yeah, irritates that me. I'm not even gonna lie. Six. Bro, yeah, this is the hard part that six, her, bro. That was her hard part six. She was like, I'm sorry. God, you better off not want to do this. Nothing. I shouldn't have played the pop. She was better oh, off not man. saying nothing, bro. What in the hell? Bro, what? See, this only yeah. this only for me solidifies the idea that she was inebriated. Because, like, bitch, if you're the DA, you know that niggas is running body cams. You know that the body cams have audio and you're still acting and act like all that. Like, I don't care how nah. bad your fucking day was, bro. Like, for you to be acting like this, I feel like she had to be under the influence or something, bro. Like, to not be thinking, like, okay, now you're trying to get ahead of it because you're sober. But, like, at the time, if you was thinking like a DA, you would have just been like, you would have pulled over. Like, yo, bro, my bad. I'm just trying to get to the house. I had a long day, blah, blah. Bro, I didn't, be, I didn't been pulled over for speed. You know what I told the cop? You know what I told the cop? I said, bro. T minus two to I shit my pants, Brody. He like what? Well, hopped in front of me and gave me an escort to the house. Like, like most cops are reasonable, bro. Yeah, like, no, I'm not gonna lie. Do... There's a lot of cops that are they're so like they're like, and I hate that people have such a negative opinion police officers because I've been stopped like by police officers like four times in my life, and I've and and I've never been like arrested or he got tickets and 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 just most cops they're like, I think people forget they're people too. And sometimes they just don't want to do the paperwork what it'll take to give right. you that ticket oh or arrest God, you. Don't do the paperwork. They just don't want to do it. And if you if the situation isn't that bad, they'll probably just stop you and tell you, like, hey, look, man, just hey, look, don't do that shit again, bro. Like, I remember one time when I was younger, I think I was like 24, 25. I was driving home, like, and I was I was very close to home. And I was I had the windows rolled down and I was smoking a blunt, <laughs> you know, as I was driving. And I was chilling, listening to music, you know what I mean? Like whatever the fuck I was listening to. And these sirens go off. I'm like, oh shit. Whoop, whoop. So, so then, you know, pulls up and this lady officer, I'll never forget this lady. This lady officer comes up and she was like, uh, you, you know, just and then I'm talking to her. And you know, man, she was like, Was well, do you have anything you want to declare to me right now? And I was like, Well, I got like a I got a pocket knife on me and I got a butterfly knife on me. And she was like, You got two knives on you, this and that. And I was like, Yeah, I just don't I don't like people and this and that. And she's like, okay, well, wait right here. She came, she went, went and ran my thing. She's like, All right, you're like, you're squeaky clean, you've never been in trouble, you never did anything. She's like, dude, and it's just she literally she told him, it's like, dude, just wait till you get home to smoke your fucking weed. Like, right? she, just, she, she was like, just wait till you get home, dude. Like, and she was like, she, she, was, she was like, yeah, that's what she told me. 
he was like, look, now look, I gotta confiscate that. I was like, damn. I was like, I was like, oh, so this is a new blunt. <laughs> But she took she took my blunt and she's like, all right, go ahead, go home, get out of here. Just wait till you get home. I was like, all right. And then I drove off. And like, no, I'll never forget it because she was like, she was she was like, you know, if this was if I was like another cop, I probably could have just like, just like took you in just for this. Right. No, actually, here's the thing. Most officers, if you if you tell them, hey yo, I, I got I had like because I had the same thing happen to me. I had a pocket watch on me. I had not, not pocket watch, a pocket knife on me. And he's and the cop a cop pulled me over and I was like, he was like, Why you got this knife on you, man? You big as shit. Why you got this knife on you? And, nigga, <laughs> and, I, like, and I said just like this, nigga, I'm on business that he was like, You right? Yeah, go ahead, bro. He's like, Yeah, you right, you right. <laughs> he's like, Yeah, but I'm business that. It's just it's just it's just crazy to me. It's he's just like, crazy to me, you know. I, I, like I said, I've been stopped a couple of times, and you know, I'm not like and it was always like traffic or something like that, or maybe I, I maybe I turned without a blinker on, or maybe I was driving a little too fast. Or that one time I was smoking that blunt, she pulled me over. But like, no time did they ever like like arrest me and like take me in or anything like that. And, you know, so it's just like, I, it's just um because I don't think we understand how to arrest somebody to to do all the paperwork, going around arrest and doing all that shit. Man, hey, bro, listen, I I much rather not. <laughs> I I'd much rather not. Yeah, like she told me, bro, just wait, till, just wait till you get home. Get home. And I was like, and I was like, yes, officer. You know, because I take that getting like a little a lecture <laughs> and then yeah. told to go away <laughs> is way oh. better than getting processed. You you want to <laughs> know why? Because I really because now because now that's a that's a whole other set of paperwork I gotta do. <laughs> that's a whole other set. That's not just an arrest. Because now I gotta tell people, hey, yo, I found X, Y, and Z amount of stuff on him. Fuck. How did you find it? What did it do? Did it spark green or red? Like what the fuck? Hey, listen, dog. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing it. I got, I got, I, I got, so, I got some babies. I gotta get home too. Yeah, not them damn them. MPs though. <laughs> them damn. <laughs> hey, yo, MPs are just on. You know what it is? MPs are, are just annoying. They're just annoying. <laughs> nah, nah, no. Nah. Shout out to MPs though. They have a hard ass job, bro. They really they do. do. No, no, of course. When they're not just like trolling you at traffic stops, they they really do. <laughs> <laughs> they're not just fucking with you at traffic stops. You're like an asshole. Then yeah, no, they they actually do. Especially on some of the more troubling installations, hey. uh, like a lot of the ones in Texas, and, and especially some of the more troubling installations, bro. They they or or the MPs who are deployed. Oh my god. That, oh that, 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 hey. Yo, golf ball. Have you ever been deployed? Yep. Ooh. Went, to, went to Korea. Oh, okay. I hey, 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 were you at um, were you at um, KC or Humphreys? Uh, a little bit of both. I was at Piontech for like three months, and then I went to Humphreys. Okay, okay, that's what's up. Yeah, yeah I Humphreys, Humphreys is literally like right next to the DMZ, isn't it? I uh, I believe so. No, no, I think that's a uh, Piontech. That's Beyonce? Yeah. Uh, one of them is like right next to the DMZ. I'm talking, it's so damn close, it's like not even funny. It's like, uh... Like it's literally on top of the DMZ. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, I don't know. And, and I mean, um, yeah, but shout out to the enemies. So, I know, we just give them a fucking hard time, bro. We, we, I know. We, uh, we got we got three three um military personnel veterans up in here. Then we got, you know, Young Prez. That nigga's a veteran, but for a whole different lifestyle. You know what I mean? Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, street veteran. That's what's up. Yeah, <laughs> hey, that's a, a OG right there. But uh, yeah, I'll be, be, be on different kind of shit. So nah, be, nah, young breads though, bro. Like, man, what you do in your civilian life, dude? Like, like the the leaps and jumps you've made these past couple of years, dude. That shit's inspirational, bro. I just nah, I don't know bro. if I ever told you that. Fuck, fuck all of that, nah, bro. You know who's an inspiration, bro? You know who's Who, a fucking me? inspiration? Me, Jeff Hardy. I really was gonna say me. Is it cold in there, David? Is it cold? Is it cold in there? It is. So why you got so much of your forehead sticking out of that beanie? <laughs> I should tell you something while I'm talking, nigga. Uh, <laughs> no, I have a long face. I have a long face. I have a long face. <laughs> nah, bro. No, you know Nick. You know who's an inspiration, Brody. You is an inspiration, bro. You went from working. Home Depot and the car wash and bullshit ass jobs and fucking roommating with a motherfucker to 
going to the military, getting your own, and getting married, bro. That's that's crazy. And, and, and wait, and this is the thing for the people who don't know. So at at, the, at this time in his life, he was like, man, fuck these bitches. Fuck these hoes. I don't give a fuck about I'll get he's like, bro, if you got a double X chromosome, bitch die. Like he like he like, I'll give a fuck about I've never that said that. <laughs> I've never said those you, words. You never did, you never used them exact words, bro. But the energy was there, nigga. He was like, all right, man, I'm a, no, no, hey, I remember that. No, I remember that. You, he, and he, turned he, his chain turned his whole life around. Found a, found an amazing woman, fell in love, got married, like. Crazy shit, like shit I've been dreaming of like my whole life. You just like nigga, the, the ball started rolling. You was like, I'm going with it, I'm running with it. Like that shit crazy. You a, you I, I, a fucking inspiration, I bro. That. For sure, for, like for real, for real, for real. Nigga, you I, was on I appreciate that. time, bro. He was on demon time, bro. <laughs> nah, you wanna know what's up? And, and, and this is a fact, yo. My um, my my, my cousin right here, but golf ball, I did. I, I had I had several conversations with him at that point in my life, and he was the one kind of told me, "But hey, man, you got to go do something to get your shit together, bro." Yeah, like a hundred percent, and I'll, I'll always be grateful for that, cousin. No problem, man. I oh, give shit. professional advice, just ain't licensed. My unlicensed professional opinion. Man. All right, but let's see what happened. Let's say this lady's apology because this shit about to make me want to throw up. I'm sorry. What I did was wrong, no excuses. I take full responsibility for my actions. I didn't treat this officer with the respect that he deserved. All police officers deserve respect. I had just come from work. I was she dealing with three telephone. homicides that occurred over the weekend. And I was still reeling from a frightening medical concern that my husband received that afternoon. Wow. But we all had who bad cares? days and stress. Wow. And it was wrong for me to take it out on an officer who was simply doing his job. And these are the same arguments that are rejected by prosecutors. I, I hate niggas like this. <laughs> like, just looking at this dude, I know I hate his ass. And this nigga too, you ain't never been to Africa in your life. Why you got that flag on your chest, bro? You ain't never been to Africa a day in your life. Bro, bro. If the person he was trying to pull over was African American, he would have been shot 17 and a half times. Like, nigga, how you shoot somebody half a time? But yeah, bro. <laughs> Fuck that no. DA, <laughs> fuck that DA, bro. Throw the book at that bit, bro. <laughs> so, uh, a lot of people, uh, well, a lot of people just wants to see revenge. But I, my, my point is, you should. My point is, the moment that she stepped into that car, hey yo, I have no clue what you coming out that car with. I have no clue. No, hold, hold, wait, hold on, hold the phone, hold the phone. Why is she so round? Why? Why don't you hate? Why? Just say you hate black women. And move on, bro. What? I'm fucking with you. This lady's white. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, fucking with you. I really am fucking with you. Oh, he said every day. She's, like, she's really people. round. Like she's like she's like circular. Like it's almost perfect circumference. If you look at her right. arms and in, in where her body, it's like maybe, okay. No, maybe is that just her, wait? Is that just a jacket or is that actually her? I don't know. I can't tell. She ain't wearing no jacket, nigga. That bitch is wearing a, a long sleeve shirt. shirt. That's a shirt. Oh, no. Is that the jacket? Now, her apology <laughs> not resonating with everyone doesn't. <laughs> hey, he said, wait, baby. Hey, hey. This nigga said he don't like playing devil's advocate, but he sure was like, maybe she's just wearing a big ass jacket. <laughs> <laughs> wait, her jacket big. <laughs> <laughs> Prez, why are you like this with me, bro? Nah, why are you bro, that, no, that's a, that's a big bitch in a little shirt. He's talking about maybe the jacket me. I'm the sorry. Protesters, Prez, including stop, members Prez, of the Prez, New York State Rally March in front of all right, everyone. What's Dozens what's of protesters, what's including what's members of the wait, New York wait, State what? Apology, not resonating with everyone. Dozens of protesters, including members of the New York State Assembly, marched in front of her office this week, demanding she be fired. Also, just last night, Monroe County's Office of Public Integrity and the county's Board of Ethics announced that Dorley is now under investigation. Now, earlier, I spoke to Judge Richard Dollinger. He's a retired judge from Monroe County, this county. He's also on the Advisory Committee on Judicial Ethics. I asked him what happens next and if Dorley will survive this. Well, I think what happens now is the governor has uh, referred this to the Prosecutorial Investigation Commission, which is a 
uh, a new device that was set up, I believe, three or four years. Mr. Bennett, can you, can you explain to us what that is? Uh, what it is, it's it's basically the internal affairs, but for prosecutors. So, it, so if you got them sniffing around, they're going to sniff every case you've ever done, every case you've done about yourself, anything that you've ever done, they're going to look through it with a fine-tooth comb. And if it does, and if it doesn't come out squeaky clean, oh, that's your ass. Oh, that's oh. that's when that's when real that's when real charges get pressed on you. Like mm. you like you start like you start looking at, and, and and what's crazy is that is only subject to the uh to like to like really just a, a state, like a, like the only people they answer to is really the state. Like okay. that's something different. That's something different. They don't even answer to the city. Like they they. They talk over police chiefs. Okay. Like, like they, like they, they, they're. Damn, like yeah, they, she should have just uh stopped and took the ticket, bro. <laughs> like she should have stopped and took the ticket for real, for real, for real. Damn, because you don't. Is... What I'm saying is, you don't want them. Bo- you don't like, like if you deal with law enforcement or a- any type of justice system, the last thing you want is IA on your ass. That's the last. <laughs> this is this okay. is why this is this is why I'm saying like. Being a DA, knowing what the fucking law is, right? Knowing who you are in the police. Oh, well, yeah, sure. she's a she's the top lawyer in the city, right? So yeah, yeah. Not, she, she, not, she's the no, DA talking, of that county. I'm yeah. I'm, I'm, talk, I'm talking about her. Like that's what I'm saying. She's shit. the top lawyer in the city, right. so she got to know so, the law. So no, all of this shit, right? That's why I'm saying she either was inebriated or she had something in that vehicle that she did not want to be found. Otherwise, why even? Run the risk of all this extra, this extra fucking uh, uh fucking TV time and shit. You knew this, bro. You know cops have fucking video camera. You know that there's gonna be body cam footage. You know this shit's gonna get out. Why even put yourself through all of this shit when you could have just pulled the fuck over, been like, damn, my bad. I've been having a fucked up day. I had two homicide cases. And they probably would let you go. Yeah, my husband. I just got bad news about my husband. Like you said in your apology, and he would have been like, "Damn, you know what? Just drive home, fucking safe. It's cool." So why run the risk of all of this shit if if you wasn't doing nothing wrong? Hmm. Oh, let's let's keep hearing what. Woo! But no, I just looked up some articles. She said, "Fuck y'all, niggas. I ain't stepping down." That's what that's what her reports was. She said, "Yeah, I, I, I saw that too." I serve the said, community, and I'm gonna continue well, serving man, the community. Hold on, wait, hold on. Yeah. You can't spoil the end, like the soul. Yeah, she, 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 uh, she said, "Soul wait, fish ain't shit. Fuck that nigga, bro." You can't be spoiling the soul cast. I ain't know that. I'm learning this as we go. No, I mean, we don't know. Yo, what's up? That's why we don't, know where the, we don't know where the investigation is going. I'm just simply saying that's what she said after oh, her apology. Okay, she just simply that. said, I don't yeah, plan on stepping down. down. That's, that's why I pulled the videos up, man. You You're said, not even gonna see that on this video. Yeah, not, she's she not, she not about to get screen time for the rest of this video. Yeah, she okay. said fuck the, she said fuck the whole soul cast and everybody on it, bro. Let's 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 get a go. To look into prosecutorial misconduct, and she has also appointed a neighboring district attorney from Onondaga County, Syracuse, the Syracuse area, to be the leader of this investigation. And I just um, I don't know quite where it's going to go, but my guess is uh, just knowing how the state of New York works that we're probably six months, eight months away from any kind of determination That's when it appears long. dan that obviously most of the facts here are undisputed i mean there's we've, we've got body camera that shows how she reacted but there's one thing i just want to add i i think the most inexplicable part of this entire thing is that she called the police chief in the community she lives in and that employs the officer who was behind her she called him while she was driving, and we haven't heard from the chief of police as to what she said. Mm. But who calls the chief of police while they're being chased by a police officer? And at a later point in the video that you pointed out, she says, uh, just leave me alone. Um, I think it'd be fascinating to hear what she said to the police chief. Real quick, I've been very surprised that some of uh, the Republicans in the county are now coming to her defense. Are you surprised by that? I'm astounded. No. Uh, this is an instance in which she yeah. abused a police officer in her yeah. own home. 
where she abused her office by calling and asking for special treatment. And I think it just completely erodes the public's confidence in our criminal justice system, Dan. Yeah. Uh, conduct like this uh, ripples through the rest of our community and it's very dangerous yeah, to have, have a to lack of respect. Tell you, as someone who is pro-police uh, on this show regularly, to me, it's not about the politics. It's not about the right, the left. It's about a police officer being mistreated. Um, and I think there should be consequences. Thank you for watching. Go to News Nation now. No, fuck your channel. All right. Um, all right, guys. We got one more topic to, to, to get oh, at. Oh, by the way. Uh, what do you guys think about that? That that whole interaction, I guess. It was, hey, it, it went the way I thought it was going to go. <laughs> fucking, it was fucking lame as fuck. She should have been, you know, the, the, the fact that she did so much and pulled and wasted so much of the police's time. You talking about apologizing because you, you know, oh, my husband, uh, my husband had a medical blah, 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 blah. Bitch, literally during your stop, there was somebody having a medical fucking seizure. And you were like, Fuck that's my point. I'm I was going to say that. I'm not taking no tickets. Y'all can suck my dick. Like, you, 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 was, wild. you was wallet. She was fucking wallet. And now you want to do this bullshit ass apology? Like, fuck out of here, lady. Like, hey, fuck, fuck out of here. Honestly, young Prez, you said everything I was going to say. I'm like, at the time you're talking about your husband's medical malfunction, there was somebody literally having a medical malfunction on the, on the fucking radio. This nigga could have been over there. Fucking still, yo, Kuzo, and and man, you wanna add? Nah, I'm good, bro. I'm just, <laughs> just you and I feel and I feel uh, and may and maybe I'm I'm looking into this a little too much, but I'm like maybe uh maybe golf ball is looking at like nigga, I used to do this job, so I know you want some bullshit right now. <laughs> but, you know what I'm saying? It's like nigga, I used mm -hmm. to do this job. I know you want. It, it, it no, would be I like if all. somebody. Did, so it would be like if somebody did something bad within the prosecutorial courts, and you ask me what they what they feel like. I'd be like, "Nigga, they on some bullshit," because they know what they doing is wrong. Yeah, right. I yeah, know what they. I know they know what they're doing is wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts. Yeah, because wait, 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 you about to say something? Because I thought I heard you say something. Yeah. yeah, I was gonna say I, um, just a little short story of when I was in Fort Riley. I had pulled over a commander and he tried to pull that car, that power car. Like, he's like, do you know who I am? I'm a commander. I don't care. You're going to get this ticket. And I don't even like writing tickets. So, I don't even like writing tickets. So, <laughs> oh, nah, I I only written like three are. tickets. My whole, my whole MV career, I only wrote like three tickets. Damn, you really ain't like doing that paperwork, huh? That paperwork sucks. Nah, man, look, when it was my time. When it was my time to uh, do my patrol, I found my spot, and if somebody was speeding, I just turned on my lights, and I was like, got on the intercom, I was like, slow the fuck down. That's pretty. That's literally it. <laughs> the watch commander, he was like, golf, you ain't come on this intercom all night. At the end of the night, I better hear you writing somebody up. So I called my <laughs> homeboy. I called my homeboy Rodney. I was like, hey, bro, where you at? He was like, I'm just about to get on base. I said, perfect. I'm gonna pull your ass over. He's like, what? I'm gonna pull you over. Just, just go with it, like, and that's what it was. And it was like, we don't arrest our own golf. I was like, you told me pull somebody over, I pulled them over. I know it was him. <laughs> that's pretty much. That's my story. Yeah, they gonna say, yo, hey, hey, let me arrest you real quick, so I can, so I can just get this thing off my back, bro. Let me I really like, did, bro. <laughs> that's, oh, that's that's everybody that's, was that's, like, like by the third. I put like uh, this golf. By the third time, he was like. Are you just arresting your dude so he can get? Hey, as a matter of fact, find somebody else due to arrest. Find somebody else. <laughs> Golf, you can't go home today until you give me a, a citizen arrest. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that's what he, yo, he yo, so that's when he starts calling up at random people. Yo, prayers, roll through real quick. <laughs> uh, that's, <laughs> really did. Because that's that's hilarious. He really told you you better <laughs> give somebody a ticket tonight. <laughs> Yeah, because because they have like a um not a quota, but I forgot. It's like you gotta write a certain amount, and I'm like, bro, I'm not doing. I don't do paperwork, so I'm not doing no bad <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah, that's that's not, fucking hilarious. Doing... 